champions. Where's the fighting champions? Not the interns. Well, Tell me where they at. I'm sure that when you put in enough time that you well, have a We got two boys them. that's pretty capable up here. We gonna show y'all what it's all about right now, last bus. Since your fighting champions ain't out here. Uh, the, Midnight okay. the Midnight Express going against at a total weight of 412 pounds from Lexington, Tennessee, Eddie Gilbert, and from Nashville, Tennessee, Rick Morton. One fall, 15-minute time limit match. The referee is Jerry Calhoun. And we should explain for those that haven't seen the Midnight Express before, there are three of them. Two of them will be wrestling, and Austin looks like will be outside in a, uh, an advisor-manager role. Bell time, and here we go. Yeah, Big Dennis Condry, the biggest of the three. Midnight Express starting out against Rick Morton. Morton off the ropes. Good shoulder, but he put Condry down on the mat, followed with a headlock. Condry rolled the shoulders down. Nice reversal by Dennis, but he couldn't make it stick. Rick Morton makes the tag, and it's Eddie Gilbert. Again, Condry went for reversal. Oh, pulling tights that time, referee Jerry Calhoun said, so he did not even begin the count. Morton takes the tag from Eddie Gilbert. Morton steps over. Condry thought he had himself set. Rick took him to the mat. Morton Gilbert make a tag again. Randy Rose complaining about something. Oh, now he's got something to complain about. Eddie Gilbert let him have it when he was in the neighborhood there. Randy Rose starts through the rope. Referee Jerry sending him back out on the apron. Meanwhile, in the ring, Dennis Condry goes for the head scissors. Didn't have much chance to set up on it too well. Though. Randy Rose after the tag. Hey, whoa. Out of the rope. Wow. Eddie Gilbert with the headlock over to the corner, makes the tag on Rick Morton. And Rick goes to work on Randy Rose. Eddie, uh, we're noting Dave, still wearing under knee pads. He has that brace on that knee where he had the operation in there, but he seems to be getting by really good, moving well. Already seen a couple of good moves from him there. Rick Morton got the headlock. It's Randy Rose on the mat. Whoa, out of it. Rick oh. takes him right back down, but Rose goes for the head scissors. Look at Rick. Counter and counter is what you're watching here. One wrestler trying to set the hole, the other one counters. And Rick Morton ends up with a headlock advantage. Tag on Eddie Gilbert. Yeah, I can see that brace right under the uh, the right knee pad. Yeah. We're two minutes and 30 seconds into this one. Two minutes, 30 seconds gone. Norvell Austin doing some really vocal chair. Ooh, what a shot from Randy Rose. Eddie Gilbert hanging back close to the ropes. Here's Randy Rose with the Midnight Express, but look at Eddie Gilbert. He let him have it with a couple of right hands. Makes the tag on Rick. Morton with a drop kick, and Randy Rose hits the mat. Rick immediately goes for the headlock, backs him into the rope. Puts him across. Drop. Rick Morton. Oh, oh. oh. Suplex by Randy Rose. Hit hard on his shoulder, too, Dave. That's the way you separate those shoulders. Condry in there now. Against Rick Morton. Three and a half minutes gone. Oh. Right in the small of the back. Randy Rose D as Condry drove Rick Morton into the corner. Condry with a forearm across the back. Body slam on Rick Morton. Dennis Condry follows up. More leg. Cover. One. Two count. Rick Morton able to break it at that point. Condry made the tag. 
He grabbed Rick, kept him out of the corner, away from the tag on it. Beauty. Randy Rose sits down on him. Over to the corner, the tag on Dennis Condry. Four minutes, 30 seconds into the action. Four and a half minutes gone. Rick through Condry's legs over to the corner. Here's Eddie Gilbert. Hey, with a drop kick. Oh, Norvell Austin grabs the ropes. Eddie fell through the ropes, down onto the floor. Oh, me. Austin rammed his head into the turnbuckle, or into the uh, ring post. In the ring, Rick Morton trying to hold off Randy Rose and Dennis Condry while Eddie is down there on the floor. There he is. Austin ran him right into that Good ring night. post. He sure did. Slammed him right into that ring post, Dave. Referee Jerry Calhoun was in the process, as you said, of trying to keep Rick and uh, Randy Rose separated. Eddie climbing back up to the apron, grabbed by Condry by the hair, and pulled into the ring. He's still seeing those stars. He is not back with it yet. Eddie out on his feet. Uh-oh. Yeah, his head cut. looks like it was busted open when he hit that ring pose. Condry tagging Rose. Rose up on the ropes. Body slam by Condry on Eddie Gilbert. Rose leaps across the ring, and he got him with that right hand. Rose with the body slam. Goes for the rope. Rose looks like he's working on the cut that was opened up on that ring post. Eddie grabbed by Dennis Condry. Hey, Austin's happy, dancing around the corner down here. Under the right hand. Eddie trying to fight back, but really in no shape to do it. Connery just pounded on him. He really uh, just slams him down. Eddie a mess. We're coming up on the seven-minute mark, and Eddie Gilbert in trouble here. I would point out they haven't been able to pin him yet, though, as Eddie brutal. Gilbert is still fighting back, but he is getting progressively worse. He's headed for the corner. Rick trying to help out, but Eddie can't make it. Condry grabs him. Seven and a half minutes gone. We're halfway through it. Time limit is 15, seven and a half gone. Eddie Gilbert starting for the corner. Can't find the corner. Leading from the fourth. Ricky in there. He nails Condry, but off the ropes comes Randy Rose. Eddie swinging at the air. It's pure instinct right now because he is some kind of a mess. All right. Tommy, his dad comes in, throws in a towel. Tommy Gilbert is thrown in a towel. It's gonna be it. Referee Jerry Calhoun stopping the match at the request of uh, Eddie's dad, who came in and pitched a towel in there. Eddie just was, uh, boy. It's gonna be a uh, win for the Midnight Express. Yeah. Trying to help uh, Eddie back to the dressing room in there. Oh, here's oh. Tommy. Yeah. I'd just like to say one name, man. I don't usually butt into Eddie's business because this is a competitive sport. But this, uh, they've got no business. Man, they wouldn't even try to pin him at all. Why didn't they try to put his shoulders down? They had him hurt. Just kept beating him. I'm not saying whether it's Eddie because he's mine. I'm talking about Rick or anybody else. They got no business 
skink like this has got no business in this profession. I guarantee you. Let me tell you one thing. What you doing out here? You weren't signed in that match. What you doing out here, man? What business have you got dipping into the Midnight Express's business? Hey, what reason I'll have dip you got anywhere I want to whenever there's somebody like this that's concerned where it's you got a part of me, baby. brother. You got a mama's baby, I see at you. A mama's oh, baby. You hey, got to call him on the back all the time. I'll tell you what, if you bad, I'll tell you what, if you bad, he's as much of a damn man as anybody if else bad, around here. If you bad, won't you sign a match? Take your punk kid and sign a contract well, against me and my men. If you bad, I'll tell you what, we bad. It ain't, it ain't nobody bad like us. Uh, it ain't no nobody bad like us. No but we do. We, that ring we with fuck all the way out. No we versus. fuck it. Yeah. Let him get, baby. Let him get. I'd ask you one question. I wonder, like Tommy, why they didn't make an effort to pin him when they had him in there. They That's just true. found it on him and found it. Penny Marlin uh, out to see that we don't have any more of a confrontation than we did have in there. Okay, so. Yeah.